Hello and welcome to another video on the SL55 build. Today I'll be showing you how to take off the front bumper and take out those headlights so you can open those guys up and paint the inside of them. Stay tuned. Really quickly before we start on the video, if you haven't already, please follow my Instagram at MrFalterBach. I post there frequently. I usually run polls to ask everyone what video they want to see come up next. And I have sneak peeks on what's to come on the build. Again, at MrFalterBach. Now, let's get back to the video. Alright, the very first step before you even start grabbing tools is put your car up on a lift. If you don't have a lift, jack stands work great, even ramps that you can drive your car up onto. You just want to have some additional clearance under the car so you can take off the bumper. And able to remove the front bumper, you have to first remove the grill. There are four screws holding the grill. Undo all four of them at the top and you push the grill in and it should come right out. After removing the grill, it's time to undo these two screws that are sitting on top of the bumper. Once you undo those, you should be able to wiggle them and it's time to move on to the next step. Our next step is to turn the wheels towards the passenger side so we can access the driver's side fender well. By doing so, you will have easy access to a couple screws and nuts that need to be undone to access the clip that's holding the bumper and fender together. If you're concerned about damaging the paint, you can put a towel in between the fender liner and the bumper to save the paint, but I didn't see any scratches or damages on my paint. There is a screw holding this clip that's sandwiching the bumper and the fender together. Once you undo that screw, there's one screw left at the bottom of it that's holding the under panel and the lower portion of the bumper together. Undo that screw and you can go ahead and move on to the next step. Next step is to turn your wheels towards the driver's side so you have access to the passenger wheel well. Same steps apply as before. Undo all of the screws that are holding the fender liner to the car and then go ahead and remove that screw that's holding on that clip that's sandwiching the fender and the bumper together. Undo the screw that's holding the bumper and the under panel together and you're ready to move on to the next step. Our next step is to remove the grill that's covering the fog lights. Unclip those guys and you should be able to access a screw. You do this step on both sides of the bumper. With those two out of the way, the bumper should be fully loose and you can now remove the bumper. However, there are a few harnesses that you do need to undo before you successfully remove the bumper. The harnesses that need to be undone are the fog lights, the side marker lights, the headlight pressure washer sensor, and the O2 sensor. If you're having trouble removing the bumper because you need to remove these harnesses first, I recommend getting a chair or some sort of cushion that you can rest the bottom portion of the bumper on the ground if you are not doing it on a lift like we are. If you are doing it on a lift, what we ended up doing was using a stool to rest the base of the bumper onto it while we ended up removing all those harnesses as we mentioned before. The only problem we had when removing this was that the headlight pressure washer sensor was not coming out. so we ended up using WD-40 to try to lubricate that. It didn't work that well. And then we ended up using a heat gun as a final result to push that thing out. And as I let the clips in the background play out, I just wanted to go over a few things with the wire mesh that's on the bumper. So what I ended up doing to revive my wire mesh was I completely removed it. I even broke off the clips that were holding it on. And when I removed it, I pressed them out to flatten it out and make it look a little bit nicer or a lot bit nicer in my case. I spray painted it with a gloss black and then I zip tied it back on to my bumper for a more OEM finish and that resulted in a much better look. I do plan on doing this with the fog light wire mesh cover. I haven't done it yet but I know that removing the clips are very very easy so whenever I get to it I'm gonna do the same thing and it should end up looking really good when I'm done with it. Another thing I like to bring up is the 
condition that the bottom of my bumper was in at the time of recording this. So the bottom of my bumper was completely destroyed. I had really deep scratches. I had really deep uh, brown spots. I don't even know how that got there. There were chips, there were cracks, all sorts of crazy things. And I actually tried to fix it as best as I can. What I ended up doing was I taped off um, a portion of the bumper that I didn't want to get damaged. I basically have a hard line of um, a part of my bumper that was with OEM paint and the other part that's with what I just did. So after taping it off, I masked off the rest of the bumper and that portion that was exposed, I sanded it with 800 grit and scotch brite and I went ahead and used the same can of spray paint that I used on the wire mesh to paint this portion of my bumper. Now it's on a part of my bumper that I know is going to get damaged. I know nobody's ever going to really be able to tell that, hey, this has been resprayed with a different color of black. But nevertheless, I ended up doing it and I ended up putting a carbon lip on there that I will go over in the next video on how I did that. And now for the grand finale of this video, removing the headlights. To start by removing the headlights, there is a cover. You undo two tabs that are holding the cover in place. Once you undo those two tabs, underneath that cover are about two screws that are holding the headlight together. Undo those screws and then to the side of the headlight that's uh, facing the wheel, there is a wheel there that the bumper slides into when you're mounting the bumper. There's a screw holding that wheel in place. Undo that screw and you should be able to pick up the headlights and take them out. Make sure you undo the harnesses that are holding the headlights while you're taking them out. There are about two of them, one at the bottom and one at the back. Take those out and you should be able to remove the headlights without any problems. That's it for this video. If you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't already, please follow my Instagram at Mr. Falterbach. I have a lot more stuff that I have done to the SL that I have posted on my Instagram and not on YouTube yet. I will be posting those videos to come on YouTube, but in the meantime, if you like to get a heads up as to what's happening currently with my car, Instagram is a place to be. I do have more stuff coming up soon, such as retrofitting my headlights with projectors where the high beams used to be and a couple other really cool goodies to come. So please, if you haven't already, subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.